Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today, it's finally the day that the news is starting to come in from Planet 2. Update 1.9 coming on the 12th of April, so that means on this date, we are also going to get a new DLC, guys. Obviously, this is the, the first message, so they're going to talk about the free update only, but we all know by now that a free update will also include, or will not include a free update, does not include a DLC, <laughs> but there will be a new DLC launching on this date, the 12th of April as well. Gosh, I really have been craving for some news and it's finally here. I, I, <laughs> I'm just so excited. All right, I did not read this yet. Uh, I did watch that video because I got this video and I was like, roaming educators and I was watching this video. I will link this video in the description of this video as well, but I was like, wait, roaming educators? But they didn't really talk about the free updates. So I was almost sending Rudy and even a message like, uh, does this mean we are getting roaming educators and then even send <laughs> this forum post? I was like, oh, wait, there's an actual forum post here as well. Right, let's go and read this. It's time for us to take a closer look at what you can expect from the upcoming Planet Zoo free update, which will be available for you to enjoy from the 12th of April. Are you ready to see what you can expect from update 1.9? Let's go! Roaming educators! That's right, free roaming educators will be soon roaming their way through your zoo. This is a brand new way for your educators to share their animal knowledge with your guests as they walk around bringing some extra educational activity along them. Whenever an educator isn't traveling, resting, or at an animal talk point, they'll be able to wander around and give mini talks to your guests to help educate them on some of the animals' presence in your zoo. To celebrate the exciting new experience for your guests, we decided to try our hand at replicating some of the hard work that roaming educators will be putting in at your zoo very soon. See how he got on. So, so basically what you see in this video is a community manager walking around through the building of Frontier and telling some animal facts to some of the developers of Planet Zoo. Now, I did not see the whole video, so hopefully I did not miss, <laughs> miss out on any other information. But yeah, that is basically showing how a roaming educator would probably work in Planet Zoo of telling your guests around your zoo a few animal facts about the animals that you have in your zoo. So explore camera mode. Speaking of roaming, we are very excited to share that with the launch of update 1.9, you'll be able to make the most of a new explore camera mode. Seeing and editing your zoo from a guest level point of view, you'll be able to see your zoo as if visiting it yourself giving you a great perspective from which to make any building or decorative adjustment, as well as offering a brand new way for you to fully immerse yourself in your build. So I, I think this is kind of the same as the camera, new camera mode that uh, there is in Jurassic World Evolution 2, but I do really like that. I'm very curious uh, to see what difference this is going to bring instead of like calling or naming a staff or a gas member like a uh, Tajikam or something like that. So I'm curious what else this is going to bring. Audio, visual, management, screens and webcams on billboards. Gosh, that is a long thing to say. Managing your audio and media boards just got even easier. This new audio visual management screen will allow you to manage the screens and speakers within your zoo from one location allowing you to see which clips or audio are being used by each output device, as well as the status and running costs of each screen, speaker, or camera in your zoo, so you can deliver a fully immersive educational experience with total ease. To add to this offering, you'll be able to add the incorporate your webcam feeds from burrows into your billboards, allowing your guests to get a closer look at your animals when they are using their burrows. I am honestly very curious if I will be using this feature in my zoos, but I'm definitely very curious uh, to see and hear more about this one and uh, just to check it out and see if, if this is something that I will be using. But it, it's definitely sounding very interesting also coming with a free update. New water options. Did someone say flexi color? With the upcoming update 1.9, you can now completely customize the color of water in any exhibit which features it. 
allowing you to have more control than ever over exactly how your exhibit animals are displayed and viewed in your zoos. Which exhibits are you going to inject with a burst of color first? Your habitats won't be missing out on some aqua-based features either. With update 1.9, you'll be able to add both mist and bubble effects to your habitat's water. Oh my god, mist and bubble effects, that's really cool. You'll be able to implement these options from the water information panel alongside the transparency and water color options which are already in-game. And the mist VFX will also offer customizable color. Oh, that is definitely sounding very interesting, like real hot spring sort of Japanese macaque, right? <laughs> that is going to be really cool. Bathing behaviors, oh my goodness. The perfect way to unwind in a hot spring. Of course, with update 1.9, we're introducing bathing behaviors. Simply create a shallow pool of water and heat it with a water temperature regulator, keeping it to the animal's requirements, of course, to create the perfect hot spring for your Japanese macaque to bathe in. This behavior will help to reduce animal stress, so it's a great way to provide a more relaxing environment within your house. Oh, that's actually a really cool feature. I absolutely love this. Flatten to terrace brush. To help create the shallow pool you'll need for your new hot springs, you'll be able to use the new flatten to terrace brush. This new terrain brush is available for update 1.9 and offers a terrace height setting and a shallow pool offset option which are incredibly helpful if you're wanting to create rice terrace structures within your zoo. Small burrows! With update 1.9, small animals will now be able to adopt burrowing behaviors. You'll be able to place small burrows for both meerkats and prairie dogs in your zoo. And don't forget, you can now add webcam feeds from burrows to your billboards too. So you will be able to see your animals enjoying these new smaller burrows. Now this is actually really nice that they're also now adding burrows for meerkats and prairie dogs in the game. I absolutely love that. As always, these exciting new features in update 1.9 come with various fixes which will be included in the full patch notes upon release. We'll have more news for you very soon, but until then, join us this coming Monday, 28th of March on Twitch and YouTube for a special self-care stream that you won't want to miss out on. We will see you there. Oh, guys, uh, very exciting news about a free update. Finally, <laughs> it took way too long, but yes, this is the start and hopefully next week or uh, maybe the week after, but hopefully next week already, we are going to get more news about the new DLC that is coming to Planet Zoo as well on the 12th of April, guys. Actually seeing so many things about water uh, makes me feel like we're getting uh, maybe something a DLC with more aquatic animals, maybe even an aquarium DLC. I have no idea, but uh, you guys know like aquariums and aviaries are high on my wishing list. But looking at this free update, uh, 1.9? I'm not really sure if this is going into the direction of aviaries, but who knows, uh, this this could be a, a complete surprise then. But looking at this, it, it feels like it's more about water, so uh, an aquarium pack? I really don't know, I really can only hope so, but maybe we're completely wrong and maybe it's something completely different. Do let me know in the comments down below what you guys uh, think of this free update coming to us on the 12th of April and what are your thoughts about the DLC that is soon going to be announced? Let me know in the comments down below as well. Uh, leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.